What a great win for Sammy Pupo. He is a finalist. And who will he be matching up in the upcoming final? Will it be current world number one, Felipe Toledo, or the skate surf stylist, Yago Dora? But the first wave goes to Felipe. And it's incomplete, so fractional score right here. I had to just throw away on the first attempt, and that will switch priority over to Yago Dora. Never tell me the odds, because they did not affect his performance. As we look back on uh, some cheers we heard during the interview, Kaipo, Yago Dora, leaning hard into that layback. Well, Yago Dora utilizing his priority. Let's take a look at this one and analyze it. Starts with a nice carve, pressure to the back foot, brings it around, eyes forward, looking down the line, a little bit of that bump or that reverb on the left, and then smashes this one, the leverage that he's able to produce on that layback, throwing tons of spray. That's a 5.67, so a nice start for Yago Dora. And there's a saying uh, in Brazil, when their soccer team won the World Cup, the chant was tetra, tetra, meaning four feet. And right now, trying to stand in the way of that tetra is Yago Dora. Three laser sharp turns, finishes with a fourth. Really smart surfing by Yago Dora right here. Backing up, getting another number. Now, this is going to apply mental pressure to Felipe Toledo. And I feel what Yago Dora is going to do is get these numbers, put that pressure on Toledo, and try to get Toledo to surf outside of his skin. Take a look at this replay. And this was a beautiful wave with a lot of opportunity. Opens up Ooh. this time with that layback hack. Another snap projection down the line. Has more time to t bring that one all the way around, but nicely combos that up. So beautiful arcing turn at the end and comboing it up again. Starting now with that big layback slash instead of ending there. Way more risk at the beginning of the wave. This is a projection down the line. You can see he keeps on his tow rail. And then this is very impressive. All the way around, launches it right into a bottom turn and combos it up for the finish. Speed, power, flow. That wave had it all. Well, Felipe Toledo on the other hand. Representing Uba Tuba, his uh, state of origin. And for Felipe, 2021, while it was his majorly successful year, still a heartbreaking finish. So trying to live up to what feels like destiny right now. Toledo searing three turn combination, adds a fourth. Lays down, here's the cheers. <laughs> that is gonna make this a heat, evening things up. You can see Felipe Toledo just twitchy right here. Big vertical snap right there. Gets a little bit caught on the heels and he's trying to force a few turns in. Doing a great job of getting multiple maneuvers in. And gets this one, but you see, not matching exactly the pace of the way for that clean finish. Now he's not gonna get discounted for that, but I'm seeing, you know, an urgency from Felipe Toledo surfing as we look at these replay. The speed and the power is there. The only, the only subtle thing that you could take away maybe is just a little bit of the flow because you saw, you know, some, some rails in the water, a little bit of spray off the board. Of course, that is, you know, that is really digging deep into what was an you know, expertly, a perfect surf wave. I mean, he couldn't have done any more on this wave. Well, yeah, we, we, you can really analyze it in slow motion here. And it's just the beautiful surfing and the technique, superior technique actually from Felipe Toledo. And the flow was with Yago Dora. Uh, the aggression, I would say, is with Felipe Toledo. It's just Yago maybe had a, a better canvas to work with. But here we go, back at it again. Felipe Toledo driving down the line, looking for the ramp, gets it. That's the alley -oop straight into a roundhouse cutback. Here's a replay, working it down, alley-oop counter rotation, lands it right on top and continues his forward momentum. Unfortunately, that wave just pinched off into that channel, into that rip. But I love the way Felipe Toledo uses this particular maneuver, the alley-oop. We've seen him on a long point wave, like J-Bay, use that alley-oop to not just get an air, but to do airs that project down the line. You can see in this replay how he's moving down the line, and he lands right on his toes again to get that rail in the water and continue forward momentum. As far as alley-oops go, I wouldn't say that is the most difficult way to do. The crowd's having fun and we got Felipe striking again under priority.
All right, we'll see if uh, Felipe will reach into his bag of tricks. He does not up and out. Still plenty of time to go. He only needs a 5-9-2, so this is still a tightly fought battle with Yago Dora in the lead, currently holding on to priority as he mounts potentially a comeback, but back-to-back -back waves for our surfers. This is Yago Dora. Couple turns out the back. A little something on the inside. He likes it. It was, a, it was, I would say, less of a frenetic pace than we've seen from Yago on his previous wave. You tell me, Kaibo. Yeah, bigger waves on this exchange with this set rolling through here, and you see Yago Dora really paced in his approach. Wants to make sure he gets the completion. Keeping the board on the water. Uh, fairly conservative, but he knows he just needs to inch up from that 5.67 that he has in his scoreline. And just off of wave size, wave quality, and getting three turns in, he may just do that. I really feel that um, he's surfing smart right here and making sure that he can glide into that last lip glide, gets the completion, and you know does a little, maybe a little bit of a sell to the judge with the fist pump. We are one ocean, love to see it, and right back at it, live action from Sakurema. The Oi Rio Pro presented by Corona rolls on. Chris Cote here with Kaipo Guerrero. And here we go, the replay of Felipe Toledo. So this is quality versus quantity. Two big Ooh. vertical wow. bangs for Felipe Toledo. Now that was excellent surfing. Why? Because of this connectivity here. Carved, shows a ton of spray there. And this finish, again, straight up, straight down, dynamic surfing in a high-risk position on the wave. And the completion, he's going to get rewarded for that. You know, that's one of those waves that in the moment, uh, you know, it's, it's great. His second wave was that high mark. So the highest score of this heat so far was an 8.67. So you know, the, the muscle memory is there. He knows exactly what he had to do to get that score. And will this be it? Yago Dora starts strong, big bash, and goes over the outside rail. So maybe a little over aggression, the polar opposite of what we saw in that previous wave, which was really cruising. Whatever he did worked, because he almost got a nine. So near excellent. Here we go, Yago Dora. Deep bottom turn, straight into the lip. Some added flair to the first turn, goes to the layback. On his way to a solid number so far, mixing up his maneuvers. So a one, two, three punch, three different types of turns for Yago. I like to see a little bit more aggression. Crowd noise is uh, a little bit less if you, if you think of decibels. The beach gets loud. Felipe Toledo is a finalist here at the Oi Rio Pro presented by Corona. Congratulations to Yago Dora. To me, that makes his comeback complete. He is officially yeah. back to 100%.